might be one of the last times you hear me yell that. Yay! So, all right. So, uh, we're going to end this week with uh, looking at, at how even uh, our cell phones, our computers are changing how we're giving news. Uh, for instance, TV did a lot. Um, the Berlin Wall might not have come down if there weren't TV cameras filming the troops. And here, while in the Middle East there weren't as many TV cameras, what happened is there were a bunch of people with cell phones, so people didn't feel comfortable committing some of their atrocities when they knew people were watching. Uh, so this is, we're going to read about that, how the new cell phones are helping people with revolutions, uh, filming. That even happened with uh, George Floyd. The phones were the real reason the filming of the incident is what helped get justice. And uh, so that's still going on now. So this was written before then, but that's just yet another example of it. All right, so let's uh, learn about friending justice. Take a look at the tw justice in the 21st century. Tweeting revolution. Social media has changed how people stay in touch in the 21st century. They talk, text, and send photos with cell phones. They post videos on the internet or visit personal web pages. They follow the tweets of pals and even celebrities. Revolutionary media. Social media was developed for communication. It lets people stay in contact all the time. These qualities make social media revolutionary. In some places in the world, social media is spreading revolution too. One way unfair leaders stay in power is by controlling what people know. Social media helps people tell the truth about problems. Pro Protest leaders can post news or photos on a web page seconds after it happens. They can tweet thousands at once with critical information. Protesting online and in the street. A revolution in Egypt in 2011 is an example of the impact of social media. President Hosni Mubarak ruled Egypt for 30 years. His government tried to stop dissent or disagreement. Through social media, more Egyptians could share their views. One group called the April 6th Youth Movement created a web page. It was used to organize protests. In time, protests brought together citizens of all ages. Tweets and texting helped keep information flowing. Egyptians demanded a new leader. President Mubarak had to step down. Printed pages to text to tweets. People who fight for justice are resourceful. They find tools to fight wrongdoing. They find ways to support fairness. From printed pages to text to tweets, media has always been a friend to justice. All right, so that should be beginning to wrap this up. So even today, you can still change civil rights. You can make things better and uh, and that's your job that's what we're teaching you to do all right so have a good summer and uh, we'll see we'll see you next year in the hallway bye